I remember saying to Jonathan and Valerie that I wanted it to be about suburban sort of teenage angst, but the idealized version, almost the sort of teenage hood that I never had, but I wished I had, which was sort of carefree and fun. We both grew up in suburban neighborhoods, so there was a lot of uh, material there for us. We just wanted to capture that feeling of being bored, a period of time when you feel like there's nothing to do, you're out of school, you're just hanging out with your friends, and maybe you hate your neighborhood a little bit. It was really important to us to cast kids who were really 15 and 16, instead of casting, you know, 22 year olds as high schoolers. We thought for sure that someone would be able to drive a car, and it turned out that they were all too young, and one of them had just received a learner's permit. The guy could barely drive. And then it also was great working with these 13 and 14 year old kids. Inside the car, we mounted the camera where the dome light is, and Jonathan was in the trunk operating it, and they just drove for like 30 minutes, completely forgot that there was a camera there. So it was really exciting for us to do a shot that was a 360 degree pan. You could see that there were no camera cars, no movie lights, no nothing. Just the kids in the car it was kind of like a declaration that this is not gonna be like this Hollywood production that was gonna be more like a documentary. The whole idea was that we were just gonna sort of jam and we'd be filmed like we were the, the band at some party. So we set up our gear and we just started jamming like we would always jam in practice. And there were a lot of people who were so excited it was the Pumpkins, but there were a lot of very sort of jaded Hollywood teens and what Hanging was, out in the kitchen. Yeah, what was weird is that Billy just wanted to jam. So the band was just playing this incredible music, but it was not any of their sort of known songs. Absolutely no response from the people. And we thought, what's going on? So then we started playing some of our better songs and the people started responding, so it almost turned into like this weird mini concert. The audience just went crazy. It was a party too. Those kids, some of those kids were really zoned out. And um, we caught a couple of them having sex in the bathroom. <laughs> We used this special camera rig in the convenience store and in some of the party scenes where the camera is about two feet away from the person attached to a shoulder waist brace. The camera moves with them as they move about. Billy mentioned that he wanted a scene of violence where these kids go into a convenience store and completely trash it. We thought that'd be kind of cool, but we ended up doing something a little more tame. It's like Cannonball Run or something, <laughs> where all the band members are in these funny roles, doing bit parts in the video. James seemed to be the perfect convenience store work. You know. He has a wig on, too. Yeah, and he was really good at figuring out his look. I mean, we had these smocks for him to choose, and, and then Darcy, Darcy really wanted to be <laughs> this irate neighbor. Blue, cold cream. Pink hair and curlers. Curler, yeah. and put them in the costume and they became the characters. You know you've done something right when people will talk about a particular shot. The toilet paper flying over the trees, TPing somebody's house, and when the kid gives the finger in the beginning of the video to like the whole world and it's like some sort of triumphant statement. Of all our videos, I think this is probably the best one. As far as the idea and the execution, I just thought this video was just flawless. I like every shot in the video. I think the casting is incredible. Originally, I talked to a different director who should remain nameless. His idea was that the band were all residents in an alien hotel, and we were gonna have these special made weird alien elephant kind of masks, and his budget was over a million dollars. I think the images work really well with the song, but it's the song that kind of conjures up a lot of the right feelings. I'm glad we didn't make the alien hotel video. <laughs>